heavyweight collision between the skyscraper Stefan Struve and Demetrius Johnson. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, no longer just a Muay Thai practitioner, he has become one of the better strikers in this division, and he does not discriminate, champ, whether it's kicks, knees, punches, elbows, he throws the kitchen sink your way. Oh yeah, he's throwing everything at you and he comes in that classic Muay Thai stance. He's really high on the toes. He's moving up and down. That back knee's always bouncing. Just letting you know, if you try to attack him, he will load that knee up and he will hit you. And the moment he drives that knee into your midsection, when you start to back out, you gotta watch the right elbow coming over the top. And when you fade, he will grab you in that Muay Thai clinch. He'll start to shift position, drive knees into the body, knees into the, into the legs, it's just, it's just constant brutality. This is one of the most dominant and most aggressive forms of striking in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 30 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, 13 losses. He stands seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Beaverwick, the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist but on one side you have a definite striker taking on a true five to a play. and you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is he knows where the fight needs to be he knows what he has to do in order to be successful let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him if your opponent has you in the clinch pulling down on your head landing punch after punch you have got to clear that collar tie Reach back inside and try to find space. Trying to go to the... Whoa! That and he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Trying to stay in this fight. Yeah. 
I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is... Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Just over three minutes to go. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Johnson's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Midway through round one. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the fight. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Johnson's back in north-south. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack a Kimura here. Oh! And the turn on the elbow, and he's gonna chase the submission finish. So the tap comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. You're playing the winner by tap out, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.